Guys, we've been talking about prostate gland, and I'm glad I actually split the videos about prostate gland into several parts, okay? Because the prostate gland is actually a very um, complex anatomical structure where we get to study the anatomy of the prostate gland like it is. Yeah, we study the, the zones of the prostate gland. We study the function of the prostate gland. We study the uh, lobes of the prostate gland. We study the capsules of the prostate gland, okay? So uh, this is basically like um, one, it's, it's a small gland, okay, okay, small organ, small structure, but yet complex, okay? So that's why I had to actually split those videos like they are, okay? So in this video, our focus is to discuss the capsules of the normal and the pathological prostate gland, okay? So looking at this image right here, you can see that uh, this, is, uh, this structure up here is the bladder, then from the bladder going down is uh, the urethra, okay? And um, there is a green structure here covering part of the urethra. Then the part of the urethra covered by this structure called the prostate is actually called the prostatic urethra, okay? So moving here, we'll be talking about the capsules of this um, urethra, right? So this is like um, a horizontal view, like the, the, the prostate gland is caught in the middle. Okay, that's what we are looking, looking at from up. So looking from up, we have the true capsule and we have the false capsule, all right? Then there's a third capsule that's a pathological capsule, all right? We'll be looking at it too. So guys, uh, the prostate gland is described as having three capsules. Uh, one of the capsules is a true capsule, which is a thin fibrous sheet which surrounds the gland. Right, uh, the true capsule is a thin fibrous sheet which surrounds the gland. Okay, this is a true one, thin fibrous sheet surrounding the prostate gland. Then we have the false capsule too, which is a condensed extra peritoneal fissure that continues into the fissure surrounding the bladder and with the fissure then on villa posteriorly. Okay, and uh, between these two, uh, uh, capsules, that's the true capsule and the false capsule, uh, lies the prostate venous plexus, okay? So uh, let me just hammer more on this. So we have the true capsule with the thin fibrous surrounding the prostate gland. Then we have the false capsule, which is like an extra peritoneal layer, okay, that is surrounding the true capsule, okay? Then as it is surrounding the true capsule, it is continuous. With the fascia of the bladder, okay, and the denovilia fascia. I know that the denovilia fascia separates the prostate gland, uh, the bladder up from the rectum posteriorly, okay. So between the true capsule and the false capsule is where we have the prostatic venous plexus, all right? Prostatic venous plexus, all right? So um, traditionally. The normal prostate gland is described as having two capsules, and the pathological prostate will have three capsules, okay? Now, in reality, however, the prostate has only one capsule, which is a true capsule, okay? And it's a thin fibrous envelope around the glands, all right? Any other thing covering outside is actually covering the true capsule, all right? Which is not really a capsule of the prostate. Okay, but we just call them capsules of the prostate either. So there is also a false capsule which consists of thick, thickened pelvic fascia and is situated outside the true capsule. Right? So this is like the best image we are going to see here. All right. So um you see the false okay, sorry, no. Let's start from the two true capsule. All right. Let's start from the true capsule. You could see that uh, this is the prostate gland inside here. And the prostate gland has a true capsule. All right. Then outside the true capsule is we have the false capsule. Then between the true capsule and the false capsule is when we have the prostatic venous plexus. All right. And the pathological capsule is when there's a benign swelling or benign adenomatous hypertrophy or benign prostatic hypertrophy, all right? When the prostate is increasing in size more than the usual, you know that there's an extra layer, okay? That's where we said that it is a pathological capsule, all right? So the pathological capsule 
is um, when benign adenomatous hypertrophy of the prostate occurs. The normal peripheral part of the gland becomes compressed into a capsule around this enlarging mass. Okay, so that's it about uh, the capsules uh, of capsules of the normal and pathological prostate gland. I right? have the true capsule, false capsule, and pathological capsule, obviously. Okay, so that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I'll be talking about the lobes of the prostate gland. Right, don't miss out, guys.